are going to metal combustion. That is not the metal. Reactions are metal carbonates. Reactions are metal carbonates. In previous classes, we have discussed that, we have discussed that like how to how to calculate the number of metal metal bonds as well as metal bonding and the structure of metal carbonates. Bonding and the structure of metal carbonates. Now I will give some of the most important examples are from standard textbooks like OD, Mishler and Dower and Slavers and things. Okay, so after this, some of the best introduction of the reactions of the metal carbonates, we will solve these problems one by one very clearly. Okay, now let's move on to the basic concept of reactions of metal carbonates. Reactions of metal carbonates. Generally, metal carbonates means so here. So, this is the octahedral environment of metal carbonate. So metal carbonate, one of the carbonate group, or more than one of the carbonate group, which is the substituted by the any incoming ligands, whatever the ligand, okay, either the R3 or PPH2, whatever the ligand, either PF3, either R3, whatever the ligand, okay. So it is substituted the one of the carbonyl compound, one of the carbonyl compound, and it forms the new carbon metallic compound, new organ metallic compound. So these are the like a simple reactions of reactions of metal carbonates. So generally, these are example of substitution reactions. Okay, so we know that the substitution reactions of uh, generally three types. That is the either dissociative mechanism or associative mechanism or interchange associative mechanism, associative or dissociative mechanism. So in summary, in case of metal metal compounds, uh, the main competition between the like uh, substitution reaction is uh, dissociation as well as association. Dissociation as well as association mechanism. So many of the students get confused whether it follows the dissociative mechanism or associative mechanism. We know that very simple substitution uh, for the electrical neutrality, for maintaining the electrical neutrality, it undergoes the substitution reactions. But some of the reactions uh, we don't know whether it follows the like associative mechanism pathway or dissociative mechanism pathway. So first of all, before going to the confirmation of those associative and dissociative mechanisms, we have discussed about uh, what is the associative mechanism and dissociative mechanism. Okay. Now substitution reactions generally like uh, it, it is going to be dissociative pathway or it may be associative pathway. Associative pathway. So a uh, dissociation mechanism is a type of the assembly reaction. Associative mechanism is a type of the assembly reaction. We know that SN1 means so the less number of uh, intermediate, less coordination number of intermediate is formed. In case of SN2, more number of uh, intermediate is formed. Now let's say like this formal example. So here the L5 metal CO. This is the octahedral environment. So in case of dissociative mechanism, first of all, the CO is eliminated. CO elimination takes place and it forms the L5M plus L5M. Yes. So then after we add the, some of the incoming ligand, uh, uh, why is the incoming ligand? So then it uh, substituted the CO position, it uh, replaces the CO position, L5, EM, Y. So this is the a mechanism of dissociation, uh, dissociative band. Here coordination number is 6, uh, but here coordination number is 5. Coordination number is 5. Okay, now in case of associative mechanism, so same ligand, same complex. So L5 M C O same complex. But here the first of all incoming ligand will approaches the metal atom and it forms the coordination number seven complex. So the metal Y C O L5. So here it forms the attraction type of compound. So that is the coordination number seven. Okay. So then it eliminates its uh, carbonyl group and it forms the L5 L5 Y. This is the complex. Both the reactions will produce the same thing, but the way of uh, proceeding the reaction is different. So in here it forms the one less number of intermediate, but it forms the more number of intermediate. So if less number of intermediate, then dissociative mechanism, or more number of intermediate, associative mechanism. So this is the brief introduction of uh, substitution reactions in metal carbonates. Okay. Now, so many of the reactions are there. We don't know whether it follows the either associative mechanism or dissociative mechanism. Now we summarize the, some of the things whether the system should be follows the associative mechanism or dissociative mechanism. Okay. So simply, if any complex, if any complex that uh, the stable complex, the heated electron complex is there. Okay. So if it, it, it accepts the uh, like two electrons from the ligand, 
So I should have taken the like uh, like uh, uh, two items and to this system. Okay. So in, if it follows the associative mechanism, just imagine. So two electrons are added, plus two electrons. That means twenty electrons. So eighteen electron compound is stable. Twenty electron compound is unstable. Why? Because so the electrons enter into the antibody orbital because the MOTP. Okay. So here it is the body orbital. Here is something called like SP orbital. Here it is the B orbital. One more, one more energy level is there. So here it is the bonding. Then it is the antibody. So in case of four electron enter into the stable compound, that means uh, here it enters into the antibody orbital. So the antibody orbital position will always uh, this is this system. So twenty electron system is unstable. So that's why each electron compound does not follow the associative mechanism. So simply you can simply state by state that so each electron compounds, each electron complexes follows dissociative mechanism. Very clear, dissociative mechanism. In some other cases, like some of the compounds, sixteen or seventeen electrons, sixteen electron or seventeen electron system. So here it requires the electrons to get the more stabilization. Process. More stabilization. That's why it uh, requires the electron. So first of all, it, it follows the association mechanism. It follows association mechanism. For example, 17 electron system gains the two electron and it forms the 19 electrons. 16 electron system gains the two electrons and it forms the uh, like 18 electrons. Okay. So here the gaining of electrons will produce the stable intermediate. That's why 16 and 17 electron complexes. It follows the 16 and 17 electron complexes. It follows the associative mechanism. 16 and 17 electron complexes follows associative mechanism. Follows associative mechanism. These two are the same thing. Okay. So just check, check your complex and count your uh, like uh, total number of electrons of complex. If it is uh, an eight electron system. It undergoes the substitution reaction, definitely it follows the dissociative mechanism. Or if it is uh, a system with 16 or 17 electrons, uh, uh, it, uh, it undergoes the substitution reactions, uh, definitely it follows the associative mechanism. Associative mechanism. This is the very simple uh, basic introduction of uh, organic metallic uh, reactions, metal carbonized reactions. Now let's move on to the, uh, some of the simple examples. So that's a very simple example. So that is the NaCO4, first example, NaCO4. So tetra, nickel tetracarbonate. Okay. So nickel is the 8 plus 2 S2 V8, that is a 10 electron system. Four carbonates are 8 electrons, totally 18 electron system. Definitely it follows the like dissociative uh, mechanism. Okay, 18 electron system, it loss of one carbonate, loss of one carbonate, it forms the nickel CO3. Okay, nickel, CO3. This is the intermediate. So then we will add the then we will add the intermediate yeah, BF3. So this BF3 will replace the like uh, one of the carbonate, eliminated carbonate position. It replaces the eliminated carbonate position. Then it forms the NiCO3 times BF3. So this is the totally one carbonate replaces. So just imagine. So first of all, it is the 18 electron system. It follows the dissociative mechanism, then 18 electron system will convert into 16 electrons. Just check it. So nickel is 10 electrons, 3 carbonates are 6 electrons. Total is 16 electrons only. 16 electrons only. Then finally it returns into the 18 electron complex. The 18 electrons. Okay. Now here nickel is 10, carbonates are 6, P of 3 is 2. Again it uh, regains its state. 
flexibility to the substitution through the substitution so this is the like a monocarbonyl substitution monocarbonyl substitution very simple reaction when we use the like another mole of second mole of pf3 so that it uh, simply undergoes the another another substitution nico2 like a pf3 taking twice pf3 taking twice so this is the first first example of solution i think it is clear okay so system is h electrons that's why it follows the uh, dissociative mechanism dissociative means h electrons become 16 16 again it becomes 18 through the substitution of a pf3 like uh, through the substitution of carbonyl by pf3 again by pf3 again again same step are repeated again we will get the nico2 pf3 taken twice pf3 taken twice now let's move on to the second one so that is the cr co6 times cr co6 times now i'll write the cr co6 times structure like this co 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 so this is the cr co6 so cr means s1 d5 so 6 plus totally six carbonyls are there each carbonyl donates two electrons six to the one electron totally eight electron system totally it is an eight electron system so eight electron system definitely that goes the dissociative mechanism so that's why it loss one carbon based on the development of uh, like uh, incoming ions it loss either one carbonyl or two carbonyls or three carbonyls okay so generally so our we get the cod so that means uh, cyclooctadiene is called a cod cyclooctadiene okay now if loss of one carbon if loss of one carbon so cr co co carbonyl 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 here this vacant site was filled by the uh, one of the uh, double bond it filled by the one of the double bond sorry okay so another double bond is there so that double bond again uh, replaces the one carbonyl group again replaces the one carbonyl group so this is the system cr co 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 like uh, here is the double bond
but here we will get the only facial asthma, we will get the only facial asthma. So this is the third example. Now let's look down the fourth example. Okay, 
So the first reaction, second reaction, third reaction, fourth reaction, fifth reaction, sixth reaction. Six reactions in a single example. Six reactions in a single example. Now let's solve some other questions, some other problems. I think it is a very clear this. So the fifth question. So here the reactant is like a, the reagent, there is no reagent, but the condition is a photochemical condition. So the photochemical condition is generally used for the like, changing the capacity, changing the capacity. But let's discuss the first example, Mn, CO5 times. So here is the LA system. LA system. So LA system is one electron donor, manganese is one electron donor, carbon is one electron donor. Totally, it is not one system. Totally. System. So here it is the 18 electron system, there is no substitute, that means there is no increment in the gap, no in the gap. Okay, so that means uh, absence of like that, no means that that, uh, that gives the like a uh, medicine definition, that's right. So the absence of the gap, absence of the gap, so there is no substitution. If with the presence of the gap, it has a dissociative mechanism, it gives the substitutive product. But there is no gap, just um, they are they use the like a photo -like. That was the time. It changes the capacity from low to high. Capacity from low to high with the elimination of carbonyl group. With the elimination of carbonyl group. Here, LA group capacity is 1. In term 5, LA group capacity is 1. So if one carbonyl group is eliminated from the system, it becomes a 16 electron compound. It, it becomes 16 electron compound. That means Mn CO4 times. So here it is the like LA in the system. Okay, so this is the system. The, here, the total number of electrons are only 16 electrons. 16 electrons uh, it produces from the elimination of one carbon and from starting carbon. From starting carbon. So thereafter, it uh, destabilizes, it uh, regains the stability with the help of uh, with the help of changing the capacity. Okay. Now eta 1 becomes eta 3. So here the donation of these two pair of electrons from allylic algae. So it produces the, this kind of system. And CO, CO, CO four times. CO, 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 CO. Okay. Now here eta one becomes eta three. Eta one becomes eta three. Just calculate the total number of electrons. Eta three means three electrons. Magnesium is seven electrons. So four carbons are eight electrons. Again, it release regains its stability through changing the eta one to eta three. Eta one to eta three. So these kind of systems, these kind of reactions, it follows the associative mechanism. There is no possibility for the elimination. So here it follows the like low capacity reactions, it, uh, it generally it follows the associative matter. Generally it follows the associative matter. Now let us discuss some other examples in photochemical reactions. Mm -hmm. Photochemical reactions. Now the second one, so uh, that is the sixth one, phenyl. So the phenyl system minus CO5 times. Okay. So there is no uh, like there is no possibility for the formation of eta 3. Okay, so just we observe the like a uh, molecule like this. There is no possibility for the formation of uh, eta 1 to eta 3 in this, this kind of system. This kind of representation we are saying so there is no like eta 1 to eta 3 formation. But when you draw the uh, molecule like this, when you draw the phenyl molecule like this, it is possible to form the eta 3 complex. It is possible to form the like eta 3 complex. So here it forms the eta 3 complex. So with the loss of one component, with the loss of one component, similar reaction. Here it is also photochemical. Here it is also photochemical reaction. Now let's look at the problem number seven. Problem number seven. So that is very important one. So here it is the cyclopentamide system. So which is which is the tungsten metal CO, CO, eta, eta, one complex. It is 18 electron system, so there is no reaction. They are used in the either photolite or thermal. In this, in this case, they are given the thermal condition. So in this, there is no increment in that. That was the time. Eta one capacity changes from low to high. Capacity changes from low to high. The mass of one carbon, the 
it contributes the allylic alkenes and it forms a, and it forms eta alpha as eta three. So here it is eta three system. Eta three aligned with only one carbon on left, only one carbon on left. So this is the problem number seven. This is the problem number seven. Some of the cases they are giving the like a ferrous information from these reactions. Okay, so here it is the eta five cyclopentadiene. Here the only eta one cyclopentadiene along with two carbonyls. Here also it is consistent. Let me use the uh, like uh, photolight or thermal condition. Here one carbonyl donation. So one carbonyl removal, it it uh, changes from eta one to eta three. It changes from eta one to eta three. So I run eta one to eta three. One carbonyl is left over. Again, the removal of another carbonyl it completely changes eta three to eta five. So both the carbon, both the uh, cyclopentadiene systems as eta five. Eta five. This is the method to prepare the fatosine molecule. Method to prepare the fatosine molecule. Eta one and eta five. Very simple reactions. So these are also very important uh, reactions. Uh, very useful example from Mr. Pal. Mr. Now, the final, uh, like the final two examples. Like uh, vanadium CO6 times, vanadium CO6 times along with PPH3, PPH3. So, here the system vanadium is 5 electrons, uh, components are 5 electrons, so total it is a 7, 17 electron system. So, those are 17 electron system, it follows the associated mechanism instead of dissociative. So, one of the components do it changes the one of the carbonyl group it changes the PPP of 3 P yeah. This is the complex. Very simple reaction. Okay. So here 70 electron system which follows the associated mechanism. There is only change. There is only change we also. Now the final uh, the ninth example is MO CO6 times. So here they are uh, given the like chelating reagents. They are given chelating reagents. MO CO6 times. PH2, P, CH2, P. So this is the key reagent. This is the key reagent. So phosphorus having the pair of electrons. Here also phosphorus having the pair of electrons. So one phosphorus attack, it, it removes only one carbon. If two, two phosphorus can be attacked over the system, so then it removes the two carbonates. So here is the molybdenum. So two phosphorus, P, PH2, P, PH2. So these two are connected to the methylene group, these two are connected to the methylene group. So this is the chelating complex, this is the chelating complex with the elimination of two carbonates. With the elimination of two carbonates, it remains, it retains four carbonates only. It is four carbonates only. This is the very simple reaction. But the change is here they are using the chelating reagents with heteroatom. Chelating reagents with heteroatom. So whatever the change, we will get the similar kind of result. We will get the similar kind of result. I think it is very helpful for you guys. I hope it is very clear for those who see this here in the If there is any doubt, please mention in the uh, comment box. So I will explain the, those doubts in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.